Congratulations on the purchase of your flying fish. Follow the instructions in this video to assemble your flying fish. Unpack your box and remove all the contents, which include fish or shark body, fish tail, three fins for the shark design or four fins for the fish design, pod and track with tail fin assembly, controller, charger, putty, clear tape. Your flying fish comes with a rechargeable motor. To initially charge the battery, unplug the tail fin assembly from the pod motor and track. Insert the charger into the pod motor and move the switch to the on position. Plug the charger into the wall. The red light means it's charging. Next, go to a party supply store, flower shop, or grocery store to fill your fish body with helium. You may also rent or buy your own tank of helium. To fill the body with helium, find the valve on the body with the red tab and insert the nozzle of the helium tank into the valve. Slowly fill the body with helium until it's firm. Most of the wrinkles in the body will disappear leaving only large wrinkles a few inches apart. Have a friend hold your fish body or attach it to a piece of furniture with a string to assist you in assembly. Locate the X marks on the sides and top of the fish body. Remove the liner of the two-sided tape on the fins and press the fins firmly onto the X marks of the body. Then put a small tooth-shaped piece of clear tape over the fin tabs. Attach the tail fin to the tail fin assembly by inserting the rods into the two grooves on the tail fin assembly. Remove the liner of the two-sided tape on the fin assembly and press it firmly to the end of the fish body. Attach two rectangular pieces of clear tape to the fin assembly. Have a friend hold your fish body upside down for you. Remove the two-sided tape on the track and press it onto the body, making sure the wire exits towards the back of the fish. Generally speaking, if your altitude is below 1,000 feet, attach the front end of the track where the teeth of the fish are. As your altitude increases, move the track forward. This can be adjusted later when your fish is fully assembled. Now attach a large tooth-shaped piece of tape to the track. Thread the wire from the track through the body and plug it into the tail motor. Now you need to make your fish neutrally buoyant. Take some putty and attach it to the pod motor. Take some putty off, or put more putty on, until the fish neither rises or falls. Using a small Phillips head screwdriver, remove the back of the controller. Insert two AA batteries and reattach the back of the controller. Make sure your pod is in the on position and your flying fish is ready to fly. If your fish body becomes slightly deflated, insert a straw into the valve on the body and blow air into it. Once you've practiced the controls of your flying fish, the sky is the limit. To fly your fish through the air, move the tail control alternating from left to right. To turn, favor one side of the controller more than the other. Use the dive or climb function while moving the tail to fly your fish up or down through the air.